gonna be today we're gonna learn how to make these wings in the oven easy easy process these are garlic parmesan these are just regular flavored uh, salt pepper and barbecue seasoning and uh, these are uh, barbecue wings so stay tuned and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell to get more tips like this boy it's gonna be good if you guys are wondering what it looks like behind the scenes <laughs> This is Aiden doing his part on the farm. So thank you, Aiden. No problem. Hey, I couldn't do this without you, bro. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. We hope you're having a really good day. Uh, it's Sunday, happy Sunday. Uh, we are, we just got home from church. I'm gonna have to get out of this church shirt in a minute so I can start cooking. Well, it looks like you're wearing a shirt too today, ain't you? With the old Walker Farm fan shirt on. What's up, Walkers? Uh, but anyway, <clears throat> so we're finally gonna do the wings today. We're gonna make these wings in the oven. I'll show you how we do that. Uh, and today's gonna be just kind of like a cooking video, kick back, relax, eat a bunch of good food, watch some movies maybe. How does that sound? Good. Sounds good to me too. So we're gonna start off with some lunch, some wings and some, I don't know, maybe some wings and beans. I don't know, why not? Um, and then we got some of the peppers from the garden. We're gonna saute these up and uh, along with the onion and garlic or something, and maybe add them to the top of some steaks for dinner. So that sounds pretty good. Yeah. And you know what, I think, I love cornbread. So I think I'm also gonna, this afternoon, I'm gonna make a, a box of cornbread. But you know how people always have like jalapeno cornbread or regular cornbread or whatever? Um, I actually just like regular sweet cornbread, a little bit of sugar, that's how I like it. But I was thinking maybe on half of the cornbread, I'm gonna cut up and saute some of these peppers and maybe put uh, peppers in half the uh, cornbread. So we'll see how that turns out. I've never done it before, and I just thought, you know, maybe it's good. Maybe it's not. We'll find out, and we'll let you guys know. So stay tuned, and uh, I hope you got something to snack on while you're watching because uh, it's probably guaranteed to make you hungry. So Yeah. Yeah, so be, be prepared for that. All right, we're about to take these wings here, and we're going to cut them up, separating the tips, the flats, and the drums. Uh, we're going to separate all those, and then we're going to season them up. The very simple salt, pepper, garlic mix. And uh, then we're gonna put them in the oven at 425 um, for a total of an hour, but every 20 minutes we're going to give them a turn and uh, they should be perfectly done. And we're gonna be putting them in a pan that has a uh, insert here. So that way they're not like sitting in all their own juice. Um, so yeah, we're gonna do 425 for an hour, turning them every 20 minutes um, with a simple salt, pepper, and garlic. And, uh, should be about that easy for them to come off. Yeah, nothing to it. So now you got your uh, wing, or your flat and your drum separated, and uh, I'm just gonna put them back in here for now until they're all done. Can I try? You wanna try some? Yeah. All right, don't cut your finger off, so all you gotta do is cut right here, and then, if I cut your finger off, a nice little slice until you can see the, see that knuckle? Those two white things right there? Mm -hmm. There, I'm gonna go on the other side of it this way. Go. There you go. Hey, you did it. Good job. You done? Yeah. <laughs> now he's done. Well, good job, though, son. So it just takes practice. Aiden's gonna get better with the more he practices.
just see, I put the drums sticking up like that um, because otherwise they just would not fit in here. I learned that lesson a long time ago the hard way. Trying to shove all these in here flat was just not gonna work. So I improvised and lined them up along the edges there, um, just like that, and then put the flats laying like that. Like I said, so these are going in the oven at 425 degrees for an hour, um, but every 20 minutes, we're gonna give them a turn. All right, this is the first 20 minutes. These have been in there for 20 minutes. We're gonna give them a turn and uh, put them in for another 20. This is 40 minutes into it. Um, and just a second ago, they were sizzling and popping and sounding really good. We're gonna give them one last turn and uh, we'll let them cook for another 15, 20 minutes. And then be, they should be done. Well, these are smelling good and looking good. All right, now with just a few minutes left to go, it says six minutes. Um, and just a few minutes when it's like two or three minutes left, I'm gonna pull them out actually. And I'm gonna toss a few of them in uh, barbecue sauce um, so we can have some barbecue ones, and then I'm also going to toss some of them in some uh, uh, garlic pepper or garlic parmesan is what it is. So, and then we'll put them back in the oven and let them finish off and get all that stuff on there real good. Um, so just remember that right before they're done, if you're going to put them in any kind of sauce or anything like that, go ahead and throw that on there right at the end. Oh yeah, that is, you can hear them sizzling and cracking. Those are those are pretty much done. Uh, this is at about 60 minutes. We're gonna toss some of them and put them back in, produce a few more. We're just gonna throw these bad boys back in the oven for just a few minutes. If you guys are wondering what it looks like behind the scenes, <laughs> this is Aiden doing his part on the farm. So thank you, Aiden. No problem. Hey, I couldn't do this without you, bro. Woo! All right, so it's warm in the kitchen, I'll tell you what. Um, we've had the oven going at 425 for an hour, so it's a little bit warm in here, but totally worth it because now we have a wonderful plate of wings. Um, Aiden had uh, probably the hardest job of all at the very end there. He held the light for me so I could get a good picture and stuff for you guys. Uh, so thank you. the hardest job. Oh, it was so hard. Um, but anyway, would you like to try one of these wings? Yes. That's the regular flavor right there. And uh, you try that, you tell me what you think. I'm getting a barbecue right there. All right, all right. I'm gonna barbecue. That barbecue's real good. A little garlic parmesan here. I love the flat, my favorite is the flats. What's your guys' favorite? Do you like the drumsticks or do you like the flats or what? Just throw in my salt and pepper. So good. That was the garlic parmesan. I love garlic parmesan. And uh, someone had left a comment the other day. Uh, it was from a viewer who had sent me a bunch of different um, wing season or wing sauces. Um, she said, "Hey, do you need me to send you some more wing seasoning or wing sauces?" Yeah. <laughs> if you want to send more wing sauces, by all means, we'll use them. Uh, we appreciate it. We go through a lot of wings around here, and we really did appreciate it when you sent them the first time, and we used them all. So, thank you. And the answer is yes. Send more wing sauce. Absolutely. 
too. Mm. You like that? Mm -hmm. What is that one? The barbecue? Yeah. Yeah, the barbecue's good. This one's the regular. It's alright. <laughs> the regular's pretty good. I think the barbecue's my favorite. The barbecue and the garlic parmesan are so good. Um, I like regular buffalo too, so. Yep. Well, as you can see, it was very simple and easy. We hope you guys enjoyed this video and we hope it helps you make the best wings. Uh, there's lots of other ways and tips and tricks to wings, but we're not going to get into that in this video. Um, this is just a simple way to do them real quick. Um, with that being said, uh, stay tuned for tomorrow's video. I think we're going to be doing the steaks and the, um, well, I'm cooking them tonight, but I'm not, I'm not going to share that till tomorrow, but our home, our homegrown, uh, peppers and onions and garlic and stuff all sauteed. We're going to put that in uh, some cornbread, see how that turns out. And then we're going to smother a steak with the sauteed peppers and onions and garlic. Um, so stay tuned for that tomorrow. We hope you guys have a wonderful evening. Um, we'll catch you guys on the next video.